stealing is one of the seven that the goyim are not allowed to do. And stealing, it's also death penalty by the goyim, by the Gentiles, even today. Which makes it very, very interesting. Why? Technically, there's almost no go in the world that didn't steal at least not once in his life. Stealing doesn't mean he has to rob a bank or break into a car or steal your roommate's stuff when he's not home. That's not what it means necessarily stealing. It could be something tiny, in a bottle of water. And at work, someone left it by the counter. You don't ask. You take it, you open it, and you drink it. It happens to the goyim. Take a stem from his boss, put it on his ladder to send. Back in a time when phone calls used to cost by each call, used to be, I don't know, half a dollar, whatever it was, used to be times like this, that you paid per minute, or you pay. people use their boss phone, or their partners, uh, you know, without permission, just to make a call. That's it. That's all. You're already a thief. So technically, it's very, almost not possible to find from seven and a half billion Gentiles one event that is not a thief. So technically, according to the strict law of the Torah, not one Gentile in the world deserves to live. 